What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Tots Wrestling and recently I've been on a bit of a DIY spree I guess you can say. Ever since Christmas I've been trying to update my room and you know, my room has always been a place where there's lots of posters and you know, it, it very much expresses who I am uh, and shows people who come in what I'm all about really and uh, I just thought it was time to update it a little bit, make it look a bit more, you know, uh, sleek, a bit more modern, I guess you could say. I don't really know, but yeah, I've got some new LED strip lights. Uh, you know, I've got my new plaques on the wall to represent my time in the Thunderdome. Also, my two custom ones uh, that were given to me as gift for Christmas. And recently, I've been looking at this little gap right there, and I'm thinking, what can go there? So. What I've actually decided to do is make some custom YouTube awards. Now, I will be showing you them in a second, but what these YouTube awards guys are is they're literally, well, we all know that when you hit 100,000 subscribers and 1 million subscribers, YouTube send you uh, these plaques, which are silver and gold. Now, these are the plaques they send you when you actually make it on YouTube, I guess you could say. And they're just like, you know, YouTube's way of saying congratulations, really. I believe they send them to you completely free. Uh, there's also a diamond play button at 10 million, but I'm not going to touch on that because that is very, very extremely, impossibly unlikely for me to hit. <laughs> um, but I just thought, you know... There needs to be something extra. I always thought it would be a nice touch for YouTube to have a bronze play button at 10,000. Uh, and I've always said when I get to 10,000, if uh, I will probably buy myself a custom made bronze play button. But I wanted to make something cool to sort of give myself a pat on the back, really. Uh, there's, no, there's no better way of putting it. Um, just sort of, just, you know, show what I've accomplished thus far on YouTube. And the way I've done that, is I've got these cool little YouTube awards that I've made. I'm trying to get it so the glare isn't too much. Uh, but these cool little YouTube awards that I've made, uh, it literally, it mimics sort of the design of the YouTube Play Button Awards. However, it is uh, sort of just my own custom design, I guess you can say. And what we're gonna be doing today, ladies and gentlemen, is I'm gonna be talking you through how I made them and uh, how you can do it for yourself. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, everyone, so I actually have three of these awards. Now, I've got one for 100 subscribers, which is this one right here. I have got one for 500 subscribers, which is this one right here. And then finally, I've got one for 1,000 subscribers, which is this one right here. I hope to eventually have four of these, uh, one for 5,000 as well. And the reason I've done this is because I believe that when you're on YouTube, you hit 100, you hit 500, and you hit 1,000. They're not easy milestones to achieve, and I just feel like we should get some recognition for doing so. Uh, you guys as well, not just me. So that's why I'm making you this video. All them channels out there, this doesn't just appeal for my normal audience. This isn't just for wrestling fans. Any channel that has made it over 100 subscribers, you know, you've got to give yourself a pat on the back. You've done something. Now, me personally... I didn't promote myself anywhere. Every single subscriber I earned. I didn't go around school and say, hey guys, I've got a YouTube channel and I earned 100 subscribers in a day. No, it took me about four, five, six months to get to 100 subscribers from when I created my channel because I grew naturally. So that's why for me, I feel more proud of what I've accomplished. But the way I've done this, ladies and gents, I'm gonna get into the nitty gritty of it. These frames are from The Range, which is a UK, uh, like, company, uh, a UK store which sells pretty much everything. They're £1.39 each. Now that I've told to, no, 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 that totals up to about uh, £4.17 I believe uh, in total which is under £5 for three frames which isn't bad at all. And uh, these prints I got done on an app called Free Prints. I'll put a photo up there. If you literally go on the app store and look up Free Prints, this is the app. Uh, typically, all you have to do is pay for postage, but I believe because it was my first time and I only had uh, four that I wanted to do, I did one as a gift for a friend as well, then I believe all you had to do was nothing, really. I, pay, I did the four, I didn't pay for postage, I literally got them sent for me for zero pounds, zero pence. It was sent to me absolutely free. So I, in total, have spent four pounds 17 on this project, which isn't bad. At all, it's the cheapest DIY project I've bought to this channel thus far. So, these things, these plaques, I guess you can say, they're six by four size, the frames are six by four, the prints are six by four. Now I'm gonna to talk to you about the actual design. 
So what I have done is I've added the YouTube play button at the top. It then says presented to Joe Talks Wrestling for passing 100 subscribers. And then at the very bottom, it's got the little, you know, the YouTube logo. Now I've taken this inspiration from the actual YouTube silver and gold plaques, which say the exact same thing, presented to your channel name here for surpassing you know, 100,000, 1 million, et cetera, with a YouTube logo on the bottom. The only thing that I've really changed is the YouTube logo on the bottom on the real ones has a play button next to it, and I don't like how it doesn't sit center just because, you know, I have to, I've got an eye for perfection here, ladies and gents. <laughs> um, but also what I've done is I added like a gray outline box uh, for it, but it doesn't show up in the frame because the frame actually sits more inwards than I initially anticipated. So you can't actually see any of the gray. It's all just like one big white thing in a frame. But yeah, uh, that's pretty much all I want to talk to you about. So that's how I did it. Uh, the Photoshop that I used was CS6 to do it. I'm sure you don't have to use Photoshop. I'm sure you could use probably Word or PowerPoint or something like that. Uh, all the fonts I took actually uh, from the YouTube fonts themselves. I did a bit of a Google search, figured out what font Google, uh, no, figure out what font YouTube use on their uh, actual plaques. And it was, I believe it was called Rob Roboto or Roboto. And uh, there was medium, light and regular. I believe that these, uh, the top uh, presented to and the bottom for passing was normal, so regular. And then the Joe Talks Wrestling is Roboto in medium. So that was that. And other than that, guys, I just added a YouTube PNG at the top of the play button. And that is essentially it. You know, I wanted to make them in scale with the real award. So if I was to ever get the real award, I can't have the 100 subscriber plaque be bigger than the 100,000. Oh, what is with my words today, ladies and gentlemen? I cannot have the 100 subscriber plaque be bigger than the 100,000 subscriber plaque. Do you understand where I'm coming from? So that's why I did it six by four. They are only small. That's it in the comparison to the size of my hand. And my hands aren't the biggest thing in the world. So I wanted it so if I was to ever get to that point, which would be my absolute dream, I would love that. Uh, if I was to ever get to that point, then I could literally put them next to each other and it would almost fit in scale. So what I plan on doing in the future, ladies and gents, is I've got 100, I've got 500, I've got 1,000. I will get 5,000 when I hit there. I'm determined to do that. 5,000 subscribers, I'll get another one. 10,000 subscribers, if I ever get to that point, I will actually buy a bronze play button because that way you're timesing by 10 for each one. So it's 10,000, 100,000, 1 million. You see where I'm coming from? It all, it all works in my head. But yeah, there's not much else for me to say. Custom DIY YouTube plaques. If you want uh, to do any of this yourself, I will leave the links to the range where I got this exact frame. And uh, I will also leave an app store link if I can to free prints app so you can go straight there and do it yourself you know it's really really simple to do i literally just went on word uh added you know the youtube logo the text all of that stuff the play button emailed it to myself downloaded it onto my phone and using the free prints app on my phone it all did the rest for me you know i did it in six by four i did it with a matte finish and they came in the post about seven days later so it's honestly something that any of you out there could do. If you're not in the UK, I'm sure you'll find a frame out there or there's an online app store, website, whatever, that will do free printing for you where you just have to pay postage. Like I said, once again, this time I didn't pay anything. Uh, but yeah, once again, ladies and gents, these are gonna be going on my wall over there, just underneath the Thunderdome plaques. Uh, hopefully when the room is as to a standard where I will be happy to show it off, I will do a room tour, but there is a catch. You guys have said you want a room tour. 4,000 subscribers, that's my catch. You get me to 4,000 subscribers, I will give you the room tour you want. That's the deal. Like, share the content, you know, do whatever you have to do to get me to that point. 4,000 subscribers, that room tour is yours. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Any questions, please be sure to leave them in the comment section down below. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Bye.